Guys, Dyson be doing the most out here. So I was with Dyson last night for the launch of their new Dyson Corral flat iron. I was totally taken back and like completely thrown off by this launch. I was not expecting it. And apparently it's been in the works for many, many years. They've invested, I think, almost $175 million of research into creating their hair tools. When I walked in, I was just like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I know this is gonna be great, but why would I pay $500, which is almost $650 Canadian for a flat iron? So they did pretty much answer that question for me and I'm gonna try to explain that the best that I can in this review for you guys. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it and we're gonna start unboxing this bad boy. I did receive this last night and I played around with their model in store, but I haven't actually like used it on myself yet. Right, let's see what we have here. Okay, so first things first, I do have the purple model and this one will be available in Canada uh, in April, but it is available in the US right now. So it comes in this thermal protective kind of travel bag and you can use this as a mat for in between uses to set it down to protect your surfaces from the heat. And from what I understand, I think the this bag alone took about a year to develop. So they definitely put like a lot of thought and love into like every detail. I say this all the time, every time Dyson drops like a new product, I feel like, you know, Apple is launching a new iPhone or something. Okay, here we go. So I have not seen this purple one yet. It was not in stores last night. I only saw the fuchsia, but how freaking stunning is this color? It's so vibrant and luxe just the quality on these like even just touching these for the first time you can tell that you're just like holding a superior product so we're gonna set this down for a minute and see what else we have in the box if you dig a little bit deeper you have i believe this is the stand i guess this is the cord that's inside and then this is going to be our stand so inside we have the actual stand itself oh and then we have this i'm assuming this goes into here like so yeah that goes in perfectly so it also comes with a cord now this is a cord free flat iron um but it does give you the option of having the cord okay so we have this little nib in the front here and that's where the cord gets plugged into and then we have the actual nib over here which goes into the flat iron when that is charging like so and this is our full setup over here. Okay, so this just gets plugged into the wall now. And I want you guys to hear that. That little ding means that it is being charged and that's gonna take about 70 minutes for a full charge. And once we start using it, we're gonna get about 30 to 45 minutes of cord free styling time, depending on how you use your flat iron. And I'm gonna get into that a little bit later on. Okay, so I know what you guys are probably thinking at home. I was thinking the same exact thing. When they first showed me this flat iron, I was kind of like, so what? It's a cordless flat iron, that's nothing new. Why am I spending 500 bucks on this? So. The answer to that question is in these plates. So these plates are completely revolutionary, which is pretty much honestly what I expect from Dyson. So these plates are a mix of six metals for this flat iron. I don't even know if I'm saying this properly, but the metal on this is called a manganese copper alloy plate. Yeah, try saying that three times in a row. Here's the mind blowing part. The plates flex, they flex. So it basically you put your hair section inside and the plates kind of hug that section and they create like a little bit of an oval. So the plates don't just flex like this, like they do in most flexible flat irons. They actually completely do that. So they hug the section. Now the reason that they do that is because when you're in using a traditional flat iron, the hair tends to kind of move off onto the sides and kind of slide off the edges. And as it's doing that, you're gonna keep going over that section over and over and over again because the tension's not being dispersed evenly, the heat's not being dispersed evenly because this section is the tightest in the center and then it goes a little bit looser on the ends. With this Dyson Corral, what's happening is because each section is being kind of hugged, it's dispersing the heat and the tension 
evenly on each section so you don't have to keep going over and over the same section several times. So just to show you guys very quickly, this is your unlock button. So you're just going to slide it up very easily and that unlocks the entire unit and it expands it open like that. And then right above that, we have our power button and I'm just gonna turn that on very quickly. You just hold it down for a couple of seconds and it turns on and right away you can see it tells you how much battery life you have. So this flat iron has three precise heat settings. So we have 330 degrees Fahrenheit, 365 degrees Fahrenheit, and we also have 410 degrees Fahrenheit. So every time you hear that ding and you see the check mark, that means that it's at the desired temperature that you've set it to. Okay, so the reason the temperature keeps setting so quickly as I'm showing you guys is because it has something called heat control technology. So it's actually measuring the temperature 100 times a second. 100 times a second. So you're basically gonna get precise and accurate temperature settings every single time. So I like to use my hot tools in Fahrenheit, but if you're in the States or wherever else and you like to go by Celsius, you can change that. So if you hold down this power button and this plus sign here, you can change the settings from Fahrenheit to Celsius or from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And for if any reason you don't like to hear that ding sound and you wanna keep this quiet, all you have to do is hold down the power button and the minus sign right there, the downward um, button. And as soon as you press that, you will mute your machine. Okay, so I wanna try this out on my hair um, as I'm talking to you guys a little bit more about this tool. So this is my natural texture straight out of the shower. I only have a leave-in conditioner and a thermal spray in my hair. And I want you guys to know that this is a sponsored video, but you guys know I'm gonna be giving you guys my honest first impressions and my honest first reaction and feedback on this. So if there's anything that I don't like about this flat iron, you're gonna hear it from me. So in between styling, I'm gonna be setting this back on the charger um, so that it charges in between uses. And I believe if you don't hold it or touch it for 10 to 15 minutes, I believe it automatically turns off. So to figure out what heat temperature you wanna use for your hair, if you're used to using a high uh, heat temperature on your regular flat iron, with the Dyson Corral, you wanna go in on a medium. And then if you're used to using a medium on your regular flat iron, you're gonna go in on a low heat setting on this. Try that out first and then you can always go up from there. We're gonna start, this is my very first time using it, um, right at the top and I'm gonna go in right there. And then I was told to just kind of go down slowly and kind of don't squeeze. So that's the other thing that I was told that if you squeeze too hard, um, that actually also affects the battery life. Um, so you don't need to put too much tension and this is just one pass and wham bam that was one pass so i'm going to try and show you guys this the best that i can on camera so i'm basically grabbing my section at the end and i'm going to clamp it right here at the root and you see how it's basically keeping the section completely centered and the section's not fanning open like it does in traditional flat irons that's basically like the key in kind of dispersing the heat and tension evenly on each section so that i don't have to keep going over each section over and over several times nice was one pass and then like right where my hair is kind of kinky I'm gonna do a second pass very quickly okay done look at that that was one pass what the heck so Dyson is claiming to reduce the damage on your hair by 50% with this and honestly just by flat ironing my hair so far I, I kind of, I believe them. I'm only going over each section literally once and like towards the end, maybe like one and a half times. Okay, so straight up this flat iron is quite a bit heavier than my regular flat iron. I'm gonna say it's probably double 
if not more in weight um, and I think that has to do a lot with the battery basically because of this battery you can use this cordless or with a cord and it also has like an airplane mode um, so you can actually like travel with it and take it on to the airplane it actually meets all of the requirements which is pfft. the blades pretty much do the work for you they're literally hugging each section so I don't have to squeeze and like you know I'm basically just like letting letting it do all the work for me that was one pass each of these blades has 15 segments on the top and the bottom there's nothing funky happening nothing is going off on the sides there's no flyaways that aren't being caught there we go nice all right guys, so this is like our side by side before and after situation happening. Um, I did feel like I went through each section extremely quickly compared to my regular flat iron. Um, the flat iron is a little bit heavier than my regular flat iron, but not enough to like stress me out or cause any discomfort. My hair doesn't smell burned. You know, like sometimes when you flat iron your hair, your hair smells burned. My hair doesn't smell burned. Um, one of the main things that stood out to me is A, my scalp felt no heat because those of you guys with tons of hair like me, you know that as soon as you start uh, heat styling your hair, by the time you get to the top, you're sweating already. And then all of the hair underneath starts getting kinky and curly again because like your neck starts sweating. For some reason, this did not put any heat on my body. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that the sides on this machine don't heat up. They only get slightly warm. And the top section here, it is cool to touch. I definitely felt the entire time that each strand was like just being taken care of for me. Um, it was completely under control in the, it was being corralled or, you know, and caressed and loved. All right, so now that I showed you guys how uh, to flat iron your hair with this, on this side, I'm gonna show you guys a few techniques that some of the master hairstylists um, showed us at the event. One of the really cool things about Dyson is that they, they have hairstylists that are like very, very hands-on um, in the development process. Um, so they work kind of hand in hand with the engineers. So as a hairdresser myself, I totally appreciate that because I feel like a lot of these tech companies are only focus on the technology and not the experience. Um, and as a hairdresser doing hair all day and using these tools all day, there's so many things to consider in the experience of using each tool. And that's not something that they talk about themselves as a company, but I feel like as a consumer, that's what I always take away from using Dyson tools is that it's such a pleasant experience. It's lux not only in the outcome, but it's lux in the entire experience beginning to end. And it's straight up freaking beautiful. All right, so now that I look nice and crazy, I'm gonna show you guys some techniques that some of the hairdressers that work very closely with Dyson taught me last night at the launch. Because the sides are completely curved and softened, you can manipulate the hair and actually create so many textures with this. So one of the main techniques is a bevel. So that just basically means when you get to the end of the hair like that, you just tilt and you get a nice little curve on your hair and then another technique which is like super popular like on instagram and um it's a little bit more like commercial you're gonna go in right at the root like this and you're gonna give it a full 360 turn and then you're just gonna slowly go down the section you can also hold these corners um, for extra support these are completely heat safe um, they don't heat up at all they don't even feel warm they're completely cool and you're just gonna glide down the section nice and smooth and when you get to the end you're gonna let go and you have your little curly sue curl um, i know that a lot of people actually love creating these this type of curl at home um, it usually makes most hairdressers cringe but um, i know it's like commercial and a lot of you guys like doing it so that's how you do it so what I'm finding when I'm creating this curl with this flat iron is that like most flat irons when you're creating this curl, you'll get a lot of dents in your hair and a lot of like demarcation lines. Uh, but because this is gliding a lot smoother, you don't end up getting all those um, dents in your hair when you're creating curls. So I just want to remind you guys, this is curling my hair on my natural texture. So not only is it creating curl, it's also getting rid of the frizz and completely smoothing the texture out all in one shot. That is just like one pass on like my natural 
pretty frizzy hair. Okay, so I actually really want to test this out. Um, I have some baby hair right over here and I want to see if the slat iron can catch it. I know that the blades on these are tourmaline edged and tourmaline basically helps like reduce static and like frizz in your hair. Um, so I'm going to go right up to these edges and see if they can capture this baby hair because this is a thick ass flat iron. So I'm going to see if I can actually show you guys. So you see my scalp is lifted right there because I have the baby hair and okay. It caught the, it caught it. It caught the baby hair. It caught it. So the reason that it actually is able to catch such fine, fine hair so close to my scalp is because each blade is designed to be 65 microns, which means that in between these blades is basically the precision of one human hair. That's basically the gap in between these blades, one human hair. When I'm using it, it feels just like a really cushiony blade. It doesn't feel like metal. It's very odd because when you touch it, it feels like metal, but the whole thing just feels like a cushion. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys another technique that's a little bit more like practical and wearable um, and definitely a lot more contemporary and modern. Um, it's a beach wave. So most people don't really know how to create beach waves with a flat iron, but it's actually quite easy. So you basically go in right at the root like so. Okay, and then you're gonna hold this and you're gonna go out, okay? And you're gonna push it back and pause and you're gonna go out this way and flip it the other way and go down, push it back, turn it this way, go down, push it back, turn it this way, go down, push it back, turn it this way, go down, push it back, and kind of do that until you get to the end. And there you have a beach wave. Look how freaking pretty that is. But I think like a whole head of this would look so freaking pretty. Your beach waves. Super pretty, that's actually gorgeous. So the reason I never used many flat irons working in a salon was because I find them very limiting in terms of how many textures you can create. And I also felt that you can't really create textures that look very natural because a lot of times um, what I would love to do on my clients is when they would come in with their natural texture like this, I would think this is beautiful and I wouldn't want to mess with it too much, but I would want to kind of tweak it and enhance it without covering it up. So I'm going to show you guys very quickly how to do that. So you basically um, look at your hair and you see all of the natural, beautiful funkiness that's going on. That's just gorgeous and um, just flawless on its own, but you see how it'll be kind of like randomly kind of limp in one area and then a little bit more voluminous naturally in another area. What I like to do sometimes is take that kind of limp piece and kind of bring it to life a little bit and kind of go in and kind of just twist it and that's it. So you see how I've created this natural kind of curl right there and just brought it to life a little bit and left the rest of the strand kind of natural and that overall section now is just kind of brought to life and you see this one that's kind of limp compared to like all the curl and waves that i'm getting over here so you basically just grab that section go in and you just kind of give it a twist right at the root and then just let go and now you've created this beautiful, like look at that, that's gorgeous, that beautiful kind of lift um, in that area. And yet you still have a natural finish. So I thought that was really cool that I'm able to do like full on curling iron techniques with this flat iron. So some final thoughts for you guys. Um, we're just gonna address the elephant in the room right away and that is the price point. It's $500 USD and $650 Canadian. So as a hairdresser, I would purchase this in 2.5 seconds. I would make my money back 
on this tool within one shift. Um, just having this even out on display, it's so like luxe, you know what I mean? So just using such a superior tool on your clients, I think would make them feel really special and really add to their experience in your chair. And not only that, it's gonna noticeably be quicker when you're styling their hair and it's gonna noticeably look better. So I think that this is definitely 100% an investment every single hairdresser should make. As uh, just a regular consumer at home if I was somebody that was genuinely struggling with the health of my hair then I would definitely definitely purchase this product um, and if I'm somebody that regularly flat irons my hair then I would purchase this product if you're somebody that kind of flat irons your hair once in a blue moon or um, your hair is overall like in pretty good health then do you need a $500 luxurious product? If you have the disposable income, sure, but if you don't have that disposable income, probably not. After I flat iron my hair with like traditional flat irons like tourmaline or um, even ceramic flat irons, it leaves like that kind of hard, kind of crispy feel in your hair, especially towards the ends. Um, and my hair feels like it's been blow dried smooth. You know what I mean? Like, you know that softness you get when you have like a really good blowout? that's what it feels like it feels very soft and pliable you know the claims that are making that it's making seem pretty valid in just one use that i've had um the only downside that i can kind of think of for you guys um is that this is it is heavier than your regular flat iron it's not like gonna break your arm uh, but it is I'm gonna say about double in weight compared to like my regular flat iron um which is Probably I think because of the battery, but don't quote me on that, but I feel like it, it, it feels like it's almost like right here the weight and I think that's where the battery is. The reason I wouldn't worry about the weight too, too much is because you are going through your hair so much faster. And if you guys have any other questions that you can think of that I didn't cover in this review, make sure you leave those questions down below and I will get back to you. And let me know if you guys wanna see any other techniques or styles using this tool, cause you're gonna probably see a lot of this flat iron on my channel in the next few weeks and months as I play around with it a little bit more. This is kind of gonna be my new like obsession. Hopefully you guys found this review informative if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys on the next one bye the dyson kisses you goodbye if you guys want to learn more about the dyson corral i will leave the direct link in the description down below